as we looked at the data, we thought it would be a good idea to do the kids that are above and then the kids that are below. And then we can look at those kids and see what they needed help on and then work on those skills with the specific children. One of the most prevailing needs that teachers express is not the stream of data that's coming at them, but the fire hose. And they've got to the point where there's a lot of data, more than they've ever had before, and it's what do I do with this? So in many districts, teachers are trying to figure out what to do with the data, and their first impressions are often, I don't have the skill. But when they get into the data and they begin to peel back the layers and realize that it's more than just the numbers, it's sense making. I'm wondering why they did so much better in chronological order than sequence. Because they're, they're so, so similar. They're so similar. Like, what is it about sequence that confused them? This course is designed to help schools, and more importantly, the teachers in them, be able to use their data well in order to address the learning needs of the students in their classrooms. The components of the course that are the most powerful are the video segments, because you get to see real teachers analyzing real student data and really struggling with the kinds of decisions they want to make that they think will have the most impact on student learning. Another thing that I think will really benefit is maybe having the students who had trouble with elaborating have them draw out their fairy tale first mm. uh, into scenes, and if they draw it out into scenes, then just having them focus on one specific scene. And also acting it out. With somebody, acting it out. Helps them to yeah. elaborate. And then so visual kind of stuff. Visual, mm -hmm. yeah. One of the key ingredients is the application toolkit. You've been given instruction in how to use the tools, you've seen them used in a context, and now you have the opportunity to use those tools within your own context. And this course builds that opportunity into it in terms of the midterm and the end of course project. Just as we do it in the classroom with our own students and build in periodic checks for understanding, the course provides that as well. In addition to that, a significant feature of this course is the case study. And in that case study, it allows you to see how a group of teachers would work and how this would be played out so that you're getting a bird's eye view into the work of another team. Really making sense of data is a collaborative process. It's groups of teachers working together to make sense and using their combined and individual expertise in different areas in order to cast a new lens on the problem and bring in the collective expertise that's in the room rather than it just being one teacher. I think the thing about team structures and collaboration is really making certain that you create a safe environment. Because when you're looking at data, you don't want to use it punitively. It doesn't want to come across as though teachers are in some ways being penalized for results. And setting the tone for teachers being able to know that it's a professional growth model that they're following. Given what we've seen in the data, what mm -hmm. might be some next steps, even some strategies that we might use around those certain pockets of students. We said we had lower mm -hmm. level readers that might have some issues that in our instruction, nonfiction, fiction, those mm -hmm. types of things, what can we do? First thing to do would be to identify which kids struggled with which structures and break yep. them down into groups mm -hmm. yep. based on their struggling points. Yep. In the beginning, it did seem like a four phases of a daunting process that we were gonna have to work through as a group. We found out we had to do it very frequently. So to wrap our minds around it at first was difficult, but once we learned that the results can really impact our lessons, we started doing it weekly. I feel like now I'm able to plan day to day rather than week by week, and my day to day lessons are much more effective. I would hope that the ultimate result uh, for using data is that our teachers get so comfortable with it that it's not an onerous task anymore, that it's not scary, it's not something that's going to take four days out of your life to do. I would hope that it's something that could be done within a PLC time frame and the next day you take it back to your classroom and you do something a little bit different based on what you've learned. Accountability in our country has come down on teachers and that they're no longer given a voice in what is happening in schools. When teachers begin to use their data effectively, they have that voice back. They are able to have direct inputs into what is happening in our school, what is happening in my classroom. And when they see those changes, 
when they see students beginning to learn that they had lost hope that they would be able to implement those changes, it's awe-inspiring.